In this example, we're asked the question, what happens when you multiply by zero? So let's see what happens when we multiply by zero when we're working with fractions. We have two sets of parentheses here. Order of operations tells me to work inside the parentheses first. If I look at the first set of parentheses, I have 3 fourths minus 1 third. I'm going to rewrite each fraction as an equivalent fraction over the common denominator, which is 12. So the first fraction, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 3. Second fraction, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 4. So this is times 4 here. Then I'm multiplying second set of fractions. Common denominator is 4, so my first fraction already has a 4 in the denominator. Second, second fraction needs 2 times 2 and 1 times 2 in the denominator there. So if I simplify, I get 9 over 12 minus 4 over 12, that's in my first set of parentheses, times, here I have 2 over 4 minus 2 over 4. Now I'm going to kind of really extend the solution so that you can see where everything comes from. So 9 twelfths minus 4 twelfths is 5 twelfths, and I'm going to have times 2 fourths minus 2 fourths is 0 fourths. So now what I have is 5 times 0 over 12 times 4. 5 times 0 is 0 divided by 48. And 0 divided by anything is 0. So what we can say really is that what happens when we multiply by 0 is that the result is 0. Here, when we subtracted 2 fourths minus 2 fourths, that's really 0. 0 times anything, except 0 of course, is 0. And so I could have said 0 all the way back up here, but I wanted you to see where the 0 came from.